Hey there, Buzz. Fancy running into you. Mr. Katype. Please, uh, call me Don. Welcoming town, Fisherman, ain't it? Yeah, lovely. Boy, am I glad to see you. You okay, Don? Well, I have no shoes and I don't know why we're running, but aside from that, I'm all right. You uh, headed my way. Got a thing or two to uh, catch up on. Let's talk about it in Darkham. Taxi! All right, we uh, should be safe in here. I uh, hope. Better keep the lights down. You don't happen to have any cat food lying around, do you? Huh. I keep forgetting it can speak. It? Rude. Look, I let you two rest all the drive here from Fishmouth, but now it's time for us to buck up, get our coconuts situated, and work out where we're at. Right. So what happened to you? I cracked lid in the underbunk of some lunatic cult. These guys were also after the Necronomicon, but apparently you gave them the slip. Not the sharpest crayons in the box. The Starry Knowledge Cult. Yeah, how'd you know? Anyway, they kneel and keel to some kind of rock what came from the stars. Supposed to croak you or give you some kind of vision beyond time if you lay your mitts on it. So did you? Now I glow in the dark. The Haunter's Mark, they call it. Ain't something I'd believe if I read it in the pulps, but now it's on me, I can't deny it. Things have definitely gone 15 shades of bizarro. And there's a talking cat. Again, I'm right here. Rude. Whoa. Did you try using your, uh, power? I didn't get the chance. I snuck out and crept around those smelly streets until I saw you legging it. That's about it. What you got? Well, I read from the book and now Kitty Talks, there's that. Then I visited a voodoo dude who told me to look for this Bob Olmstein guy in Fishmouth. Long story short, Olmstein had already left, but I did meet your employer. Fella by the name of Barnabas. Pretty big guy, white dreadlocks and beard, maybe in his 50s? Huh, I'll have to look him up in my files. Yeah, well, Barnabas is convinced Olmstein is of almost, um, divine nature? And there's also another cult called the Esoteric Order of Dagon, and they're about to have their creepy festival in Fishmouth soon. Oh, and there's a guy called the Butcher. <sighs> Just saying it all out loud makes my head spin. I know about those esoteric weirdos. Not the first time they completely shut off Fishmouth to do God knows what. Butcher. Those starry kooks mentioned them. All Barnabas told me was to keep the Necronomicon away from the Butcher at all cost. And you know what's weird? Barnabas hired you to find the book, but he wouldn't take it when I offered it. Strange. Well, he did pay up front, so uh, he's all right as far as I'm concerned. So, what do we do now? You, uh, wanna help? Kid, strange and mysterious are why I work this beat. Now that I've lost my shoes and my hand is all magic-like, this old bloodhound ain't going back to the kennel until he's got some answers. Oh, boy, am I glad to hear that. All right, well, there's two things. One, apparently there must be some item that counterbalances the Necronomicon's chaos, so we should probably look for that. And two, Barnabas told me to find peace. I kind of want to research that online. You do have internet, right? Uh, yeah, there should be some in that laptop thing. Oh, brother. You look into that. I want to see what this Haunter's Mark is all about. A big, bad, weird world awaits out there. No one seems to be peeking in. Good. Nah, not yet. Still got things to do here. Is this a place, Joey? Sure is. How are we gonna get this desk up the stairs? Like, couldn't you got a lighter one? Shut up and do your job, Vince. Whoa, you sounded eerie. And you were talking in a couple of different voices. Never been much of a thespian, so I guess the Haunter's Mark does work. I think you were channeling the movers. How long ago was that? I don't know. Years. I had a feeling I shouldn't tip the short, annoying one. Well, you can now legit read the past. Future would have probably been more helpful, but I'm not complaining. All right. Give me a minute to look up this Barnabas fella. That's Cornelia. 
I should give her a sprinkle. She's a good office companion. Doesn't judge, only requires water. I care about her. She's just a plant, damn it. But I care about her. Do you hear that, Joey? This guy's talking to his plant. He, he named it and everything. Man's probably lonely, Vince. Leave it at that. <sighs> Maybe I'm a little lonely. Oh well. That's my file cabinet. Call me old-fashioned. Go ahead. My, uh, life's work. Mostly consisting of hoodlums, thugs, and weirdos. Let's see here. Hey, Bozinski, I think I got something on that fine peace thing. I don't believe Barnabas was trying to guide you to a life of mindfulness and meditation. He's got a daughter called Peace. Peace, Pusara. Oh, of course, that makes sense. Got any ideas? On it. <laughs> I think I got it. I found Peace Busara's blog. What's a... Nah, never mind. What does it say? Oh, well, the latest entry is pretty cryptic. It just says land beyond the forest and a, a bunch of numbers. Okay, these must be spatial coordinates. Tracking them down now. Man, this is just like in the movies. And I was right. She's in... Formaris, Transylvania, Romania? Well, well. Hey, here's an idea. Feel like visiting your ancestral home, Kerwin? Are you kidding me more than anything? But I'm hopelessly broke, and... Don't worry about it. Barnabas paid well, and I want to see this thing through. Awesome! Found anything worth examining on your trip to Fishmouth? Actually, yes. Barnabas called it Olmstein's Sign. He apparently left it on purpose so that I could find it. Here it is. No idea what it means. That's my safe. Right now, it's guarding a whole lot of nothing. It'll come in handy, someday. Nothing in there. Ugh! Drag this all the way up here and I bet it's empty, Joy, I bet it! Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm with you on that, Vince. Man, those were some judgmental movers. It's that mysterious sign Buzz found back in Fishmouth. I should really use my newly acquired power on it. Flamel's abode. Flamel's abode? Did I hear that right? I think so. Does it ring a bell? Well, there's one famous Flamel I know of, and he's, well, was an alchemist. Looking it up. Pretty useful thingamabob, that laptop. 51 Rue de Montmorency, Paris, France. 14th century alchemist Nicolas Flamel's ancient home. Alchemist, huh? 
could tie into the whole balancing chaos thing. All right, looks like that's my destination. European road trip! So, when do we leave? Soon. I uh, still want to go through some files before. All right, let me know and I'll book the flights. The number one cause of horizontally intermittent tan. Occupational hazard. Well, you know, clients sort of expect them. Now, nah, I'd rather not open them more. It's best we don't alert anyone to our presence. Hey, shall we check it out? Venetian blinds! Guy thinks he's Sam Spade or something. Let's uh, just get that desk up here, Vince. That there's Kitty. For a talking animal, she is pretty uncommunicative. She doesn't like me. Can't say the feeling's mutual. She is mean and tight-lipped. I can appreciate that. I don't think the hunter's mark works on her. Hey, Kitty. Is it important? No. Let me know when it is. <laughs> okay, Kitty. Just my desk. Nothing special. It's functional. Does its job. Ugh, man, this thing must weigh a ton. This guy better tip well. Wouldn't count on it, Vince. He ain't for money, I can tell you that. What it Nothing useful inside of it. I don't need to pick it up. Those belong to the guy what rented here before me. Never cared enough to take him down. Psychic Evaluator Diploma of Excellence. Hey, they're conversation pieces. Can you believe this guy, Joey? Didn't even bother taking those old diplomas down. That says something about a man, Vince. Uh, don't ask me what, though. I don't have a use for them. No one does. It's Buzz. I guess we're sort of partners now. Never really needed a partner, but I can use the company. He's uh, nothing like me. Maybe it's for the best. The uh, Haunter's Mark doesn't work on him. That's my uh, laptop. I... Barely ever use the thing. It's being put to good use. I'm a hands-on guy myself. Everyone with a search engine in their pocket is a detective nowadays. You think this guy goes incognito? You think his browsing history is open up? Wanna look at it? Wanna take a peek? The way that guy looks and dresses, I doubt he even knows how to turn the stupid thing on. It's off to Europe, buddy. Radical. Yeah, radical. And this was it. Paris. I stepped out of the downpour into Flamel's hutch just in time. What followed was some kind of meteorological insanity. Hurricane Herbert baffled weathermen and struck anywhere in the world without warning. That was far from my biggest concern, though. You see, during the long cab ride from the airport, I'd taken some liberties with my walk dogs, what with the uh, kind of march a gumshoe puts them through. Bumbled up and explaining to the obnoxious cabby in my very approximate French that, no, I didn't want a detour to gawk the big old oil rig they planted downtown. Fate sucker punched me right in the gut. I, uh... Left my shoes in the cab. It's an old, old portrait of, I guess, that uh, Flamel fella. He's looking kinda surprised for some reason. I guess people were all scraggly back then. I'm not hauling that around. A beautiful depiction of Flamel indeed, Mr. Olmsted. Your penthouse quarters are ready, right this way. 
Olmstep, huh? Nice, familiar ring to it. Looks like a flyer about Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel, 1330 to 1418, was a French scrivener and a manuscript seller. He's supposed to have learned important alchemical secrets at some point during his life, feverishly pursuing esotericism from then on. Flamel is recorded as having resided in this building in what was then an attic. That's it. It bored me to tears. Can't even see letters anymore. I'm not getting anything. This might prove useful at some point. There's a fishing hook just lying on the floor. I wonder how it got here. Do people fish in Paris? I guess I'm an uncultured oaf. I'm not getting... I'm sorry, I can't read ancient-ish. It's probably Latin. That's as good a guess as any. Hic habitat flemilus. That did not help. No use for this troglodyte. Must be the missus. She's got a fierceness to her. If there's pants to be worn around here, I bet she's the one wearing them. No thanks. She's taken, and I got Cornelia. Oh, Serge! We will be so happy here! Now get cracking on that dinner! Allez! A reddish corridor of old portraits and domestic odors. Judging by the smells and sounds, that way lies the kitchen. Ooh. I could use some warm soup right now. Nah, it's private. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to lurk in you again. That's uh, all I can remember. Nothing. Nah, nothing. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. The world has changed indeed. Mr. Watson, come in. I want to see you. I don't think I'm getting any calls here. That's a lot of book right there. Not everything's gone digital, I guess. I find that strangely comforting. Oh, wow. Getting such a garbled mess. It's, it's indecipherable. That's the concierge's prerogative. Shiny summoning thingy. And I mean shiny. Look at that thing. I could ring this all day long. I gotta get me one of these. For no good reason whatsoever. No resonance. 